DMs when nobody takes a history check on the random chair in the corner with 100 plus hours of lore. Hey, what's up everybody, I'm Skyderay and welcome to another episode of D&D Memes. Yeah, without any further ado, I hope you enjoyed this video. Also check out my stream, there's a link below, twitch.tv slash Ray. I stream almost every day. That was a quality rhyme. Subscribe with Twitch Prime. A player uses it's what my character would do to justify a dumb decision. I'm mad. They understand it doesn't free them from consequences and they genuinely believe it's what their character would have done in that situation. But I ain't stressing. When the DM starts fudging dice rolls. Reality can be whatever I want. Wow, you're talking sword? Actually, I'm the sword that always corrects people. I wonder what item I get when I finish this campaign. You mean, if you finish this campaign? Ghoul. Take your fist to go. <laughs> That's a very fitting ad. Killing off your character because you want a new one. Giving your character a happy ending that makes them retire from adventuring. When the DM accepts your weak argument to gain advantage on a roll. You're a good man, thank you. When the big bad evil guy counterspells your counterspell. Who the hell do you think you are? Min maxers. I play dex based characters because it is the superior build and has the best save, skill, weapon attacks and AC. Me. I just think they're neat. Killing an innocent NPC just for fun in public won't have any consequences. And other hilarious jokes you can tell yourself. Volume 2. People in D&D towns don't level up because they live relatively safe lives. Guards are tough because they train and fight enemies regularly. Adventurers are tougher because they fight very powerful enemies and risk their lives. The town executioner should be level 20. His daily job is literally to kill people of various levels. You may have free wishes. I wish for 10 billion tons of gold. It is done. The price of gold has collapsed. You now possess a mountain of worthless yellow metal. I wish prices weren't inversely related to supply. It is done. Price now scales with supply. Your gold is more expensive, but not nearly as expensive as common commodities like wheat and rice. Air now costs 100 trillion dollars per breath. I wish I could afford to breathe. It is done. Everyone else will be dead within 2 minutes. Is there a moral to this story? The wish spell is dangerous, especially when cast by a genie controlled by a cruel DM. Table Tales the ultimate tragic backstory. I threw a boomerang like 6 years ago and it never came back. Now I live in constant fear. When you succeed on your wisdom save. Meh. DM. Does a 32 hit? Me. Joining a new group and trying to play along with the weird lore can be difficult. What year is it? It's the Viking Age. That explains the laser raptors. When you only pass your deception check because the NPC is an idiot. I'm not a thug, I'm police. Okay, then name one law. Don't kill people. That's on me, I set the bar too low. For millennia, dragons have raided and pillaged humans' villages for gold. Lately, however, they heard of something called wages, where humans will just give them gold for doing jobs. Capitalism saves the day. You mean, instead of spending an hour burning down the entire village and maybe stealing a hundred gold pieces, all you want me to do is just spend 10 minutes slightly briefing under the forges and you'll give me 25 pieces each week just like that? Every week. How will you afford this? Well, we won't have to rebuild the village once a month, for starters. God damn it! one of the first thoughts after reading this was dragon prostitutes. Well, I'm sure at least one bard will enjoy that. The dungeon boss. You unionized my hobgoblins against me? The working class will no longer be oppressed, my dude. Rogue. Natural 20 to pickpocket a noble. DM, who rolled a natural 20 on perception. Wanna know something? <gasps> According to D&D, Doctor Strange is a wizard, but Harry Potter is a sorcerer. $200 on dice. $50 on legal copies of the books. What does happen if you die in D&D? Do you just stop coming to the sessions? You die in real life. Hashtag the DM takes you out the back and shoots you like a lame horse. When my grandmother mentions they're praying for me at church because I'm a satanist and it takes me hours to figure out it's because I play D&D. The DM is a player too and should be having fun as much as the rest of the group. DM plans epic encounter in the mountains. Players. They say we go under the mountain. 
flares whenever the DM does a silly voice. When the boys come over to play D&D. PC, let's sell our loot before we go on. DM, you're in a swamp. You left town days ago. PC, please? DM, fine, you find the shop. Me, realizing I can just let my players die when they f*** up instead of saving them all the time. Wizards, spend years of their life studying books and scrolls. Sorcerers, born with magic. Bards, toot toot, magic flute. An RPG is a game in which you fight an extremely stylish and sexy villain, slowly going across the land and acquiring increasingly better outfits until you and your friends are stylish enough to fight them. Never split the party. Showing up to D&D. On time. With snacks. Hell. Huh, your name's not on our list. Of course not, because I don't belong here. You're looking at a D&D player that sexually harasses the female PCs. Extra hell. The party is all half-human, half-other races looking for their shared human parent. Change your URL, OP. Human bard when he sees his gaggle of bastards stumbling into the tavern. When you ask on a forum what's the best class, and they say no class is the best or the worst. But then you see them on another thread making fun of how bad the ranger is. Tank, please, for the love of god, use your healing and buff spells. Party full of casters. Guys who play D&D, card. When your character dies, but your DM allows the group necromancer to raise you as an undead PC. Shit, necro. That's all you had to say. When the party gets wrecked and has to flee an encounter and realizes maybe those health potions weren't overpriced after all. The potion seller. You could not live with your own failure. Where did that bring you? Back to me. Wizard. Sorcerer. As I tried to explain before, magic is real. 8 intelligence barbarian. I don't think there's any science to support that, buddy. The party's first dungeon. Let's go. In and out. 20 minute adventure. 5 real world months later. Everybody has shit and dice? Okay, introduce character. Urag, orc barbarian, collect bones of enemies. Raguk is orc barbarian, bath in foe's blood. Waga, orc barbarian, eat babies. Horus, orc barbarian. We begin. You sit in bar. Waitress lady asks what you want. Raguk asks if maybe pretty lady want to kiss Raguk? Are you looking for love or hookups? Alameo, I have no f <coughs> idea at this point. Right now I'm just looking for D&D. Dungeons and Dragons? LMAO. Oh. and dinner. Oh, okay, yeah, that makes a lot more sense. Mom, who's your favorite? Combat. RP. Sweetie, I love you both equally. It's you, and by a lot. When the Warlock's patron shows up and helps the party. Warlock. Paladin. Bobbin searches the cave. You find a glowing rock. I found a special rock. I take the rock and make a constitution saving throw. Uh-oh. Fighter. I wish I could cast. Wizard. I wish I could tank damage. Barbarian. I wish I could heal. Paladins. When a DM has an elaborate and well-developed world but still has to improv 90% of a session. God has cursed me for my hubris and my work is never finished. Guard 1. One of us speaks nothing but truth. Guard 2. The other nothing but lies. Wizard. Okay, I know this. We have to ask. Barbarian. Takes axe and kills the first guard. What the hell? Barbarian to remain in guard. Is he dead? No. This one liar. Anyone. I would love to get into D&D. It sounds fun. Me. Great. Who are we killing? I want to do kids. That's a rule. But that rule is negotiable if the kids are <coughs> When you roll a natural 20 on the goblin who dodged your entire party's attacks. Parry this, you <coughs> casual. D&D handbook. Half orcs, evil. Every half orc PC. He has huge muscles, so he can hug his friends real tight. D&D Handbook. Tieflings. More evil. Every tiefling PC. Gay party animal in a crop top and heels. D&D Handbook. Drow. Extremely evil. Every drow PC. Drama thirsty, fashion forward goth. D&D slash Pathfinder Handbook. Goblins. Unrepentantly evil. Every goblin PC. Chaotic good, hungry child. The party. Some random NPC. 30 sessions later. The party. The big bad evil guy. I've finally found it. After 15 years. The scroll of truth. 
D&D memes are better when the OP has read the player handbook. Yeah. I fixed the class system by removing the class system. Pick whatever f skills you want. Classes are stupid. Who says I can't put all my points into spellcast and sneak? Fascists, that's who. It's 4.35, what the f*** are you doing? God damn. Bard. I'll grab the pregnant princess and dimension Doras to safety. Great! You and only the princess are teleported safely away. Party. Only the princess? Players, you're like the coolest person I've ever met and you don't even have to try. DM. I try really hard, actually. Billy, it's time you learn about money. And the importance of... Billy, no! Princess, I have come for you. There is no princess in this castle. But Dragon, you are my princess. Aww. Me at 16. I want to see my face on TV. I want to be a legend. Me now. I want to be a gnome with a tiny shop in the woods where I cobble shoes. I'll ride a goose to work and sip rain from an acorn mug. And my only worry is will there be enough pies for the name day feast. Bard. Mass cure wounds. Cleric. Mass heal. The party. NPCs. What inspired you to take on this dangerous mission and save the town? Money. All y'all need to step up your D&D game. That's actually pretty f awesome. Dungeons and Dragons. Naming an NPC every time. No, adventurer. I will tell you of a quest to great power. What's your name again? That is not important at the moment. I'm simply a man of the shadows. A listener to all secrets. I'm gonna call you Bucket. W what? Wait, no, that's not my name. You can't... Uh, what? Then simply call me the Dark Sea. Sorry, but you missed your chance. You shall be known as Bucket for the rest of the campaign. Son of a... <coughs> Using an elder god from the rule books. Using r slash I'm sorry John to create Garfield the Devourer. When you reply to a comment on your D&D meme and the classmate's phone immediately buzzes and you see them pull up Reddit. Complex NPCs with rich lore and personality. This is brilliant. Boblin the Goblin. But I like this. Me. Movie. Book. Game that I like. My favorite parts. Me. The DM. My favorite parts. The campaign I DM. Alright, that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to leave a like if you did and subscribe for more. Check out my Twitch, there's a link below and I'm probably live right now. Also, check out the Discord server, there's a link in the description for that and a link to the Patreon if you want to support the channel there. And yeah, that's it. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time. Have a great day, bye!